Power Electronic Lecture Series. We are going to discuss about offline UPS in this video. So uh, already the uh, UPS basic video and online UPS as a separate video is uploaded in the playlist. Okay, uh, so if you are uh, new to the EC Electronics channel, please do subscribe to our channel for subject videos and recruitment updates. And also, if you want the notes of these videos, please do subscribe to our Telegram channel and also follow us on our Instagram page. Okay, so let us see about offline UPS in this video. So we have already seen in the introduction video of UPS that UPS is uninterruptible power supply. So uh, some electronic equipment that we use requires uninterruptible power supply. They require continuous supply of power and the power failure cannot be tolerated. In those cases, we use UPS. We know that along with our computer also, we are using a UPS, right? So uh, in all those cases, we require continuous working of those components, especially for the hospital cases in the ICUs. There are certain medical components which has to be always working. Okay, so in those cases, we require a uninterruptible power supply. Now, what is the speciality of an offline uh, UPS or uninterruptible power supply is that only when the main supply is not working or whenever the main supply is failing, only in those cases, the uh, offline UPS will be coming into action. Otherwise, it will not be working. It will be only in the charging mode. Okay, It will get charged. When the main supply is present, it will be charging. It won't be supplying uh, the power to the component. But when the main supply fails or when the main supply is turned off by the supply agency, in that case, the battery will start to discharge. So when the main supply is working or when the main supply is on, it will be the UPS will be in the charging mode. Okay. So this thing is actually the basic concept of offline UPS. Okay, so if you know this thing and the circuit diagram means you know almost all things about the offline UPS. Okay, so let us see the things in detail. So, the offline UPS in many applications like computer installations, process control, chemical plant, hospital, intensive care units, continuous power supply is highly essential. In these applications, temporary failure can cause a great inconvenience or economic loss. Sometime, loss of life life can also occur in the hospital cases and all okay so we cannot tolerate those things so we require continuous power supply and in those cases we are using a ups so the ups plays an important role in these situations these are actually basic things of ups okay now the circuit diagram of a offline ups is this so here there is no main supply but this is actually the line which is getting connected to the main supply okay this is the load. Load means whichever equipment you are using. That is connected to the load end. And this is how the circuit of a offline UPS is present. There is a rectifier, there is an inverter, there is a battery. If you see the, or examine the online UPS, in that case also, you can see that there is all these components. Rectifier is there, battery or battery bank is there, then inverter is there. And also this uh, switch is there. Okay. And there is a load and there is a power supply. Here also all the elements are present. Now what is the what is the difference here is in the online UPS, this rectifier inverter path is normally operation or normal operation path. And this path, that is the path of main supply, is occasionally only turned on. That is, in the case of an online UPS, always the rectifier inverter is giving the power to the load but in the case of offline ups that is the uh, video that there is in this video we are discussing about offline ups right so in this case that is in the case of offline ups normally the load is directly getting connected with this path that is the main supply path this is the main supply path okay so there is no main supply written here but you should know that there is a main supply connection getting connected to this end. So normally the mains and the load is always getting connected. Whenever there is a main fail, that is main supply when it is turned off, only then this path, that is the rectifier inverter path will provide the electric power to the load. And when the main supply is present, 
what will happen in this path the battery will get charged okay so this is the things which is happening when the power is present when the power is present is the power supply on the power supply line is on in that case the battery is getting charged and directly the electric power is provided by this main supply to the load so these two things are happening okay so we'll study step by step step 1 when the main supply is on what will happen first thing the main supply will be giving the electric power to the load and also in this path what will happen the battery is getting charged now when the main supply is turned off means the switch will shift to this end that is now the ups will start to supply the electric power now how it will supply by discharging of this battery very simple right so this is the working of a offline ups now when you are studying the ups my suggestion is that you should always study online and offline ups together because you can have a very good comparative study okay next let us see the points of offline ups offline ups systems normally operate offline means they will be generally in the offline mode only okay when the main supply is present these ups will be in the offline mode but when the main supply fail fail occurs then it will come to play so that is why it is called offline ups and the load is normally powered by the utility line utility line means mains line okay main supply when the utility power level goes beyond the acceptable limits that is when the power fail happens the load transfers from the utility to the ups so whatever i have explained has written in words the actual transfer time is very fast so there has there is a transfer happening but in the case of online ups there is no transfer because always the always this path is providing the electric power to the load see this path that is a rectifier inverter path so whenever the main supply is failing there is no transfer happening because normally this path is the conducting path so there is no transfer happening or there is no requirement of a transfer or shifting of the switch or anything okay so uh, but in this case that is for the offline ups case there is a transfer happening right so normally this is the path but when the uh, when the main supply is failed or when power fail happens or power line is off then there has to be a transfer from this end to this end okay there is a switch has to be shifted to this end so there is a transfer happening and talking about the transfer time normally it is fast but the detection time somehow will be long that is there there has to be a detection process that the main supply has failed right the device has to detect that the main supply has failed so there should be some mechanisms like control mechanisms and logic circuits for detection of the main supply fail right so that detection time can be long okay so in critical applications we won't ups we won't use the offline ups generally the online ups will be more reliable okay so that is the most important point in hospital uh, ap applications and all generally we use which ups online ups only because for offline ups there has to be a transfer process identification that the main supply has failed and then the uh, shifting to the ups has to happen so these things will take some time so in that case you uh, in the icu in the hospital applications and all it is critical area right so we cannot go for offline ups there we have to use online ups okay next the offline ups system consists of we have already seen that there is a battery there is a charger there is a power semiconductor switch that switch it is a semiconductor switch okay because these are static uh, ups the classification of static ups is online offline and linear interactor so these are static type of ups systems both online and offline both are static only and they are using semiconductor switches okay and the switch connect the main power supply to the load and the batteries thus the battery remain charged during the normal operation we have seen that when the main supply is on the battery is getting charged but when the main supply fail happens there will be some abnormal functionalities there is some abnormal things is happening so there has to be a shift right so the load will shift to the inverter and the battery will discharge okay then the transfer time for the normal operation to the stored uh, energy operation is generally less than 10 millisecond this short time interval does not affect the typical computer loads offline ups are more commonly are commonly rated at 600 volt ampere for small personal computers and home applications we can we can only use this offline ups 
for small application purpose only just like for uh, the ups that we use along with our computer that can be an offline ups actually that is an offline ups but for the critical applications like in hospital and all we can only use the online ups okay so that is the application and the power rating is 600 watt ampere okay next the disadvantages and the advantages of offline ups the major advantage of offline ups is that they are low cost small size and weight and higher small size and weight and higher efficiency so while discussing online ups we have discussed that they are complex structures they are heavy in size and also high cost but here cost is less small size and high efficiency it has higher efficiency because most of the time the ups will be off in offline mode only the device will be getting power from the mains in normal operation only when the mains fail only then the ups will come into the action the disadvantage of off offline ups is that there is a switching time okay the switching time is there and it can be problematic in critical applications these kind of system provide no line conditioning or voltage regulation and provide only limited surge and spike protection so while discussing the online ups we have seen that they can be mainly used to protect the system from surge high voltage spikes and all that will occur in the mains supply okay but here there won't be such protection because normally this ups will be in offline mode only only when the mains fail this ups will function right so whenever some surge or high voltage spike is happening in the main uh, mains line this offline ups can do nothing okay so that is one disadvantage of this offline ups now during the sustained low voltage periods the offline ups can inaccurately detect a blackout and prematurely switch on to battery okay so in some uh, cases when the voltage level goes low that is when the voltage level of the main supply goes low this offline ups will detect some problems in the mains and it will go to that is it will automatically get switched to the battery discharging that is it will automatically get turned on okay so that is actually a faulty operation of this offline ups okay that is when whenever the main supply doesn't fail also in some cases the ups will start to function so that is not actually desirable only when the main supply has completely turned off only then this offline ups should function right so in some cases when the main supply is present also this offline ups will start to discharge or start to function that is actually a faulty case okay so that can also happen in the offline ups that is again a disadvantage the main disadvantage is that there will be some transfer time okay so in this video we have discussed about the offline ups so offline ups in if you want to just imagine about the offline ups in in your mind you just think about the ups that we use along with our computers okay so when the main supply is fail the computer will be getting charged or computer will get the power from the ups right in some cases when the voltage level of uh, your supply line i hope that you have noticed when you are using the computer when the voltage level goes down suddenly the ups will start to function right so that is a uh, undesirable case so that is actually a problem of a ups so uh, these all things will happen in an offline ups and offline ups will only function when the main supply is getting failed otherwise the device will get the electric power from the main supply okay so i am really hoping that you understood about offline ups so we have discussed about that thing in detail i hope that you could connect about your real life uh, because this thing we use right so if you found this video useful please to give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching